so I really didn't do an intro either. So, what up though? It's your girl Coco, and we back with another video. Hey yo, I'm sure I already did an intro to this. I look musty and crusty. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. All right, talk to your mama about it, not me. Um, but today I'm like gonna be doing a what I eat in a day on my little diet. You feel me? You feel me? Cause if y'all didn't watch my Christmas vlog, I said I was gonna go, try to go vegan or vegetarian, whichever, whichever I was feeling. And so basically, uh, I just cut out some like extra sodium, some meats and stuff like that. So yeah, it's not really some some you know what I'm saying. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But I'm gonna do every other month. But I'm completely cutting out red meat from my diet. So we're gonna see how that goes. All right, y'all. So you know what I'm saying. We in the kitchen. Nice to see y'all again. You know what I'm saying. She's still looking a little busted, but she had to put a robe on because it's cold as heck in Texas. I don't know what's going on right now. Don't know what's going on, but it's, it's cold. You feel me? Got my baby sniffling and stuff, but had to feed him. So now it's my turn. So today we're gonna be eating some oatmeal because oatmeal, what it does is it boosts your metabolism. You know what I'm saying? Get those muscles working so you can have some nice abs. I'm not saying if you eat oatmeal, you're going to get abs. And then also, it, you know what I'm saying, make you a little thick. Thick, okay? Because we're trying to be slim thick this year, okay? Okay, with no Dr. Miami. And then I'm going to also pair it up with some uh, sour, sour sap tea, you feel me? Because it has a lot of uh, benefits. I actually think it has more benefits than green tea. Don't quote me on that, but um, there's a lot more benefits that I see with sour and sap. Like it kills uh, cancer cells, helps fight your, uh, boost your immune system, helps boost your metabolism, helps uh, make your waist size smaller, helps with your hair, helps if you're pregnant, help like it got, just look it up, look it up. I can't do all the work for you, babe. I could just show you the products, you know what I'm saying? But you got to do your research, babe. Okay, okay. So, uh, I'm going to make this. And I'm probably going to end up eating like an orange or something with it. I don't know. I don't know. We going to So, boom. Let me tell you. We use milk around here in our oatmeal. Don't use water. You bummy. You are bummy if you use water. Just saying. But, you know what I'm saying? I feel the struggle. I feel it. I feel it. I'm not mad at you. But get the unsweet, okay, almond milk, okay? Almond milk. And I'm going to put you on for the rest of your life with the brown sugar. Don't be adding extra sugar because that's going to defeat the purpose, babe. This already got, let me see how many sugars it got for you. Let me tell you. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> you yeah, it already got six grams of sugar for you, babe. So you good. And it got some fiber. So in case you constipated or something, babe, they got you. They got you. So boom, and the cool thing about this is that it like tells you like you could just fill the milk up to here. So you ain't gotta dirty up no dishes. So if you really bummy, you ain't got no measure measuring cups. They got you. So also put this on for like, I put it in the microwave for like two and a half minutes or whatever. But I also pour over, make sure you shake this up. Make sure you shake this up. I ain't about to play. Y'all supposed to shake all milk, whole milk, 2% milk. You supposed to shake all that up. Don't be playing. I pour a little bit more over because I be feeling like it be make, leaving it dry. I don't know if it's a type of milk because you're supposed to use water. I don't know. Talk to your mama and not me about it. But that's how it's supposed to look. Uh -huh, like that. I also, I also want to make... Um, once I'm finished with this diet, I want to make some cream of wheat. But you got to add a lot of sugar to that, babe. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go back and I'm going to do a detox video after that, babe. Because we got to get on this show popping back here, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to be back with y'all. Um, once I, I'm going to boil some water real quick on the pot and then uh, show y'all what it look like. Make it cute and make it dress it up. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know how we do. Yo, 
y'all look at look at this cute packaging y'all so boom so you know you, you got your little thing then you pull it out look how cute boom like that and you take your little uh uh y'all excuse my nails yo i'm just you know what I'm saying we live in the life over here the mom life then it got like a little uh, you feel you see that Ooh, chris See, that's that, that's that herbal stuff. When you really see that, when you really see the herbs falling apart, like, look in there. That ain't, that ain't ganja, babe. That ain't ganja. That's herbs, okay? Alright y'all, so basically I just ended up um, having some oatmeal, which, you know, I haven't really been into yet. Um, I just got done taking my Nutriburst. Uh, I'm going to have a little tangerine because uh, I don't really drink orange juice. I'm an apple juice gang. Comment down below if you apple juice gang or you orange juice gang. But apple juice gang, you already know what time it is. But uh, I drank the Nutriburst with like a cup of orange juice, but the tangerine was looking good. So don't judge me if I got too much vitamins and antioxidants going on. Okay, okay, okay. And then um, also, I've had people ask me this before, like if you're on my Snapchat or on my Instagram, I put like a small plate over my tea because you gotta brew your tea. I mean, if you just sit there and drink it hot off the press, then I mean, that's cool too, but you gotta let the the herbs soak into the water, you know what I'm saying, and like for at least five minutes, you feel me? But you can't just let it sit there either. You gotta let the heat and everything, you know what I'm saying, cover it up. So let me put you on real quick. Uh, so just get a little, put something over it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gotta, it ain't gotta be a little plate, it be a big plate. It could be a paper towel, whatever. Just put something over there so it can brew. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get it on and shove hopping with our tea. But I'll see y'all when it's time for snack time. Alright y'all, I'm back. Um, so I forgot to show you guys basically like the snack I had. I basically chopped up some cucumbers and put it into apple cider vinegar with a little bit of sea salt and you know what I'm saying, a little hack for if you want some chips or something salty. And then I also eat like a little handful of those straight raw, no sugar added, no salt added, straight raw little uh, cashews. Um, Look, also when I was pregnant, I was pregnant nuts like crazy. So now I'm able to eat them without anything on it. Cause before I was like, baby, that needs some seasoning. Mm -mm. But that right there, put you on, put you on. There you go. But now I'm about to make some lunch, and we're gonna make like a little wrap, a little one-two. Call it a day. That's what we about to do. So yeah. I'm gonna be right there. All right, so I'm back. So basically what I did is I just make like a little concoction. Like sometimes I'm like, I want beans and rice. Sometimes I want beans, rice, and corn. And then put like a little bit of fajita seasoning on it. Or like some mushrooms and stuff. Um, because the mushrooms kind of act like a meat substitute. So I just do like a little one, two like that. That much, not too much. It's my little uh, concoction and whatnot. Then you take a whole wheat little, uh, like so. Bust that joint open. Take it, you put it on your other pan. Oh, let's turn on the right, let's turn on the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't judge me, don't judge me. Let's do like that. Okay, so y'all can see. So we got this right here, right? I like it to be extra cheesy, you feel me? But sometimes, hold on. So if I'm on like the vegan little kick, I'll use this cheese. 
And then today we're gonna use this Mex Mexican style because it's looking real good today. But you really can't tell the difference between the two. It's just, this is really more expensive and I have this is about to expire. So we about to use this one, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's how that go. So what I like to do is I put a layer of cheese at the bottom before I put the mixture on it. Just like that. A little bit, a little one too. See that? Y'all see that? Okay. But did y'all see that though? Ugh, like that. There you go, you add the mixture. Make sure pretty much everything's in the middle, for the most part. We ain't got times, we ain't got times. Scrum de Leon shiz. Scrum Now look, I'm not a master chef, so I was hesitant about showing you how I do this, but this how we just do it. You know what I'm saying? We just get it done. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? We make it uh like that. Like a quesadilla kinda, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. I just cut it in three. It's like a little quesadilla or whatever. Um, these are the different things that sometimes I pair it with. This is like guacamole. You know what I'm saying? Guacamole. You know how I get the spicy and the classic. Spicy hits, you know what I'm saying? Or I'll use this. Salsa verde. You already know. Like that. Or I'll get this squeezable fiesta one. And then of course I'll just pair it with the sour cream. And that's that's pretty much that is what I do for lunch. Um sometimes I eat a vegan burger, it just depends. Depends, depends. Um but yeah, I'll do like all comment down below if you want me to do like an alternate like video of like just a video of just what I eat in a week for breakfast, what I eat in a week for lunch, and what I eat in a week for dinner. Let me know. Let me know how y'all feel about that. But yeah, I'm gonna get back, eat this, grub it up, and then get back to y'all. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. So I lost a lot of the footage from this video. So we're gonna do a disclaimer. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Don't get mad at me, but um, I did want to get a video out to you guys. I will probably have to redo this with a lot more um, recipes involved um, regarding like uh, my diet or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I do apologize. So don't come for me. Don't come for me. Okay? Okay.